Kendall, you hadn't gone two innings since April 3rd. Um, just how fresh did you feel and how rested did you feel and how did you feel your stuff was tonight? Yeah, I, I was mentally preparing myself to go three, honestly. Um, I knew that'd be a stretch, but um, I mean, from the time I went to the bullpen in the first, I knew there was a possibility that I needed to create some length today, and that means being more pitch efficient, which means getting early contact. Um, and I thought stuff was uh, fairly sharp today, and uh, I thought Castro did a good job coming to a ball game there uh, after maldi has been calling um, pretty much every pitch this series and doing a good job staying on the same page and, and calling some, some good pitches for me. Danielle. Kendall, before the game yesterday, you brought up Javier and the job that he's done. What about what he's throwing out there has made him so effective for you guys this postseason? Yeah, that's uh, one of the biggest performances I've seen in a situation of a postseason game since I've, you know, this postseason. And I, you know, for him to go out there and give us a little length uh, was something that we needed. And I thought he threw the ball exceptionally well. Um, he's a, a young kid that I really enjoy being around. I think he's, uh, from what I've seen and getting to know him, he's such a hard worker. and. He has an understanding of how good his stuff is and how it plays. And to go out there today and attack, uh, I think he kind of flipped the switch a little bit of just being in attack mode since uh, when he got step foot on the rubber. And um, for him to keep that ball game where it was, wasn't easy. Uh, and I thought he located and made a lot of good pitches and handed it over to us in the back end. Berman. Kendall, do you feel like in some way the Astros have uh, regained the momentum after a critical win like this? Yeah, I mean, there's momentum when you win a game. So I think for me personally, um, we'll have a little momentum going into tonight, but then tomorrow it's a new ball game. We'll start 0-0, and uh, as quickly as the momentum can shift um, pitch by pitch in a game, uh, you know, it could go that way tomorrow. So I, I really think tomorrow showing up to the ball field will have a better feeling than obviously if we would have lost. But um, once again, then you take it one pitch at a time when we step on the field. And I thought if we could just hold their offense uh, where it was, I thought eventually we could get the our offense going uh, if we held their offense to uh, some smaller runs. <laughs> I, I think we did that today. And at ninth inning kind of busted out. And, the guys did a good job putting some good at-bats together. Oh, uh, Kevner. Yeah, Kendall, it's, it's been uh, obviously a tough go for your guys' starters uh, throughout the series. Is that, is that, how has that played in the bullpen? Like, do you guys recognize that you're going to have even more responsibility um, than you had during the regular season and, and really have to, in some ways, carry this, this team? Yeah, you have to face it head-on. Um, but I, I think that moving forward our starters are going to be great I have all the confidence in the world that uh, those guys are going to continue to throw strikes and get out so they've done it for a long time they've done it in the postseason Eric Eady and Odorizzi's throwing the ball uh, well uh, I, I think for me personally just having faith in those guys but at, at the end of the day uh, the conversation in the bullpen is um, if we need to pick someone up we will and uh, I, I think today, today was a telltale sign of that and keeping our team close and Altuve hitting a big home run to tie it and then putting up a bunch of zeros. So um, the conversations can't be complaining. Uh, we're in this to win and whoever gets the job done, I think it's uh, just on to the next guy, pass it down and keep executing pitches. Thanks. All right, Kendall. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks.